When the whole world can be your canvas, why should you settle down only for your city or country? Hey everybody, today we are going to talk about how to go global with your internship. Well, you're about to launch your career in biotech, right? And uh, that means you are trying to, you know, go for some internship or project or something which can give you a career boost, can be a launch pad for your future, right? So this video is for you if you are looking for internship out of your country. And of course, the tips which I'm about to give will give you some insider ideas on how to get internship in your country also. It's, it's not that it's, it'll be useless for your own country. But yeah, so keeping in mind that Biotechnica has a lot of global audience as well as Indian audience, we are going to cater to all of you. Okay, so this question keeps coming to me and there is a good reason behind it. And the reason is exposure. Okay, now what exactly happens when you are trying to go for a local internship? Okay, the problem would be that the local companies, for example, I'll give you for India, the local companies are trying to solve the local problems or the real problems in a cheaper way. Let's say they are trying to create biosimilars or um, tin rigs, but the global companies are trying to solve bigger problems, right? So what if you could get a kickstart in your early in your career where you are uh, now solving global problems, right? Like food, malnutrition, hunger, cancer, aging, what not, right? Synthetic biology, personalized medicine, all of that, right? So, you know, uh, my mentor always said that there's no harm in dreaming big, but uh, dream without action is a wish, right? So this video is that action list, which you can take out, which will help you build a solid career in the future. Now, first thing I told you, of course, benefit is exposure. The second benefit is networking. See, when you go abroad to do internship, so it's, it's like uh, probably um, six months or one year internship. Generally, it is one year. You get to learn a lot, not just about the company, the society, the way of thinking of the scientists, the infrastructure, and that changes your entire perspective, right? So networking will help you and it, you'll be able to connect to those scientists and then you, who knows, though that internship might convert into a full-time job. So yes, the third will be CV boost. In case you did an internship abroad and now you want to come back, if you do that, you know, the local companies will pay, pay you higher and they will take you seriously because you did an internship abroad, right? And, uh, you know, uh, I think two years back, Illumina came up with an AI ML internship and they were paying $100,000 as a stipend right so you never know that can be highly rewarding also and of course like i said it is a pathway to job and phd abroad so many internship leads to full-time roles and phd opportunities as well so that is why you should you know try out the tips which i'm about to give you now first things first um actionable pointers only. I'm not going to give you uh, anything which is gas. It's all uh, concepts which I'm about to give you. So the strategic method would be you have to curate a list of 20 to 30 best fit companies. Okay. The companies where your uh, research interest and their work aligns. So that's, that's number one. The second is go to the website, go to the LinkedIn, find out what exactly they are posting as job okay so whatever they are posting as a job can also be an internship even though they are not saying it they mean it okay so if you can do that same job at a lower price of course you can get in but how to get in now i'll tell you so first step i told you is create the list or curate the list of 20 30 companies which is of your research interest so the first step would be downloading the list of all the companies details in the description you can check it out and then you can find out which company suits you so then tailor make the application so now you uh, now that you have uh, made the list you have to tailor make the application for that specific role in the company so you have analyzed what kind of jobs they are posting and even though it's a job you are going to approach them as an intern okay you will not say okay i want to apply for this job instead you say hey i'm getting started with this particular um, career and i have huge interests um, in the research which you have done i have published some papers and uh, this is my statement of purpose so uh, i would love to work with you as an intern so now you'll be like hey this is like um, uh, guesswork it might work it might might not work that's true most of the global internship will always be guesswork because you don't know if they need you right but i have seen people succeeding here and the uh, success rate is up to 40 percent so out of the 100 applications which you send 40 will come back saying that yes we are interested to interview you right and then after that uh, 40 applications who said okay we can interview you 10 percent would 
you know there is a high chance there is high risk so that's the percentage ratio i have seen so now actively build the portfolio now that you have applied actively start building a portfolio how do you build a portfolio do some projects okay locally right it could be short term project in csir lab it could be a short term project with biotechnica it could be a short term project with anywhere else now you know even though this internship seems like just an internship but actually this internship which is global internship is 100 times more efficient and effective than any local internship so that is why you have to prepare right so actively build a portfolio of in demand lab skills and computational skills most of the foreign uh, internship demand you to have computational skills that is bioinformatics artificial intelligence machine learning deep learning algorithms and understanding of computational uh, languages like python r studio and all of that right so you have to do that and then if you can publish a paper that's well and good because you know um, you need to prove yourself to your future employer that yes i have i'm seriously looking for this right so whatever they uh, you know here's a shortcut which one of my student did they saw okay this is the project which uh, this company is offering for a job they came to biotechnica contacted me and said i want to do this as a project and our scientist did that project with them right and they published the paper now that they have published the paper they applied saying that hey similar project i have done and i have published a paper also why don't you hire me and that guy got an internship for 5000 dollars uh, stipend per month and then it translated into a job now it's a full time job he got and after a masters in biotechnology so that's smart work right so now what will happen when you apply so that's the question to be known so you know they will ask you um, basic questions okay because they 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 know that you are just getting started so they will not ask you very high five questions they'll ask you questions like can you explain me this technique okay can you explain me what's the fundamental uh, theory behind it can you explain me what if th- this goes wrong how would you do it so troubleshooting steps so they will try to find out right now another big burden for these companies is they may not be comfortable uh, giving you a visa for short term right so they will generally give you a t- internship for 2 years 1 year 1 and a half year so you're getting a license to go abroad and do this internship for a longer period because for a short period it will not make sense for 6 months they will not hire now one very important question they can ask you is why should i hire a foreign uh, candidate why can't we hire someone who is from my country i don't have to go through the hassle of visa requirement and that is where the paper publication comes into picture you can easily say that see i have worked on this particular project right so i have better experience better understanding and i can help you do things faster and i'm going to charge you less because a local candidate will charge you in dollars i'm going to charge you in rupees right so of course this will be cheaper now most of the cases when there is a it's a international uh, internship i have seen if it is a bioinformatics internship they will say okay why not you do it from your own country and work online with me and that is a game changer so what happens now is you actually did an internship they paid you a stipend but you didn't move out of your country so benefit would be now you worked from home and then now you are earning in dollars spending in rupees and there is a high chance if they liked your work they might hire you so that's uh, where uh, the process uh, really is a rewarding uh, step now here now one important thing you have to know is the visa no norms globally as are getting strict right so you better not post anything wrong on social media anything negative about anybody to to be very frank don't do that because when you are applying for visa applications especially for us and europe they're going to screen through your social media okay they will ask you to make it public and they will go through it and if you post anything offensive about any politician or anything um, you know which uh, uh for about any company or any individual that negativity can lead to a ne- you know cancellation of your visa so please be careful about that right so uh, this is where now com- coming to the question like who all can give you this kind of jobs so see the top 50 biotech and pharma companies i will try to include the list below otherwise a full list of i think uh, 500 to 1000 bioinformatics companies is given below you can check it out so you can apply there for the internship and now there are various academic research internships available at harvard mit oxford national university of singapore then there are industrial internships available at biotech and pharma companies like novartis roche bayer biocon biologics malaysia plant moderna then there are various um, yeah, 
government or NGO programs like Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, Erasmus Mundus, Dad Fellowship in Germany, Amgen Scholars, Metax in Canada, all of that. Then we have virtual or remote internships available at Biotechnica or various other companies like Illumina. So, you know, these internships um, are a good start. Okay. Now, the trick I told you, number one, create the list. Number two, tailor make your CV. Number three, find out what projects they are doing. Do that project with Biotechnica with our scientist CRO and then uh, publish a paper. Now you apply chances of getting uh, uh, hired is faster. Uh, they will ask you, why should I hire you? Give them a strong reason that you will come cheaper. You are applying for internship, not a job. You are ready for a long-term commitment if needed and you're ready to relocate and you have, uh, because you are relocating, you have a 100% commitment towards the job. So all of this you have to say and then of course, don't po po post anything negative on social media. Keep that in mind and of course, remember that you need to have a statement of purpose, a recommendation letter and transcripts which you can easily get if you've done a project at Biotechnica because we provide you a work experience letter. We provide you a recommendation letter if you have done a good job and published a paper with Biotechnica. So uh, just to give you an idea about it, we are starting a fresh internship. It's a global internship at Biotechnica where you can uh, work with our AIML scientists in Biotechnica CRO. You can develop a lot of algorithms. You can work on UI UX right from beginning till the end and you can develop things like a virtual heart or a virtual body or a machine learning algorithm on how a particular drug reacts on the body and how uh, it has having it is having an impact. A lot of projects are there. List is given in the description. You can check it out and of course you can talk to our scientist and uh, um, you you know officials at the whatsapp link and when you can uh, that's a whatsapp number of mine also you can chat with me as well right so that's about uh, the um, opportunities and uh, how to apply about uh, the AIML internship at Biotechnica. Now remember these AIML internships are a global gateway for getting jobs in all these companies which I ju just told you. Uh, we have Amgen Scholarship, Dad Rice uh, in Germany, Metax Global Link in Canada, Erasmus Internship, uh, then NII, Riken and AIST in Japan. Then you have Novartis International Internship Programs, Roche Global Internship, Pfizer R&D Internship and of course uh, IQVIA, Paragcel, PPD and Sineos also has in global internship programs, right? Now, whenever you are approaching them on LinkedIn, make sure that you are to the point, you don't waste time, you don't write paragraphs together. And this is the era of AI, so they know that you can just write good English and paste, but don't do that. Be genuine. Um, it's not necessary to be grammatically 100% perfect, but you have to be really polite approach with the right mindset and say that I'm really a serious candidate. You are going to make it, okay? If you go to Rasainika, we have the Chem Informatics International Internship available. In Biotechnica, we have AIML and Biology and Bioinformatics Internship available. And then join Biotechnica's global uh, website, which is biotechnica.com. You can subscribe there because all these internship opportunities will come there, right? Now, one important uh, factor which I have seen is you have to apply early. If you are late to the party, the party is closed, right? So you have to uh, apply early. Even if the applications are not closed, not open, you can, you know, cold email the professors, write a concise, personalized email, um, sharing your CV and your statement of purpose. Leverage LinkedIn, engage with posts of biotech recruiters, company HRs and researchers who might be able to help you and give you some insider ideas on when this internship is about to open. Now, some of the shortcuts which I would like to highlight here take short-term skill-boosting certifications like AI in bioinformatics, drug discovery tools, clinical data management. These are the global gateways uh, to global internship. Then join international conferences, webinars and networks with speakers. Uh, all of that is happening, of course, on already on Biotechnica. Do some virtual internship if in case you cannot move out of your uh, city or country because uh, a global internship will still be valuable. Showcase all that work on LinkedIn, GitHub, and um, be open to going to not just developed countries, but developing countries also like Singapore, South Korea, Brazil, Kenya, because any global internship has equal value in your home country because people will feel that for an internship, if they can get invited, they must be talented, right? So that's very, very important. Uh, reach out to your mentors who can, of course, guide you in much more detail. If in case you want to be mentored by me or any of our scientists, of course, you can join the AIML in bioinformatics internship. You can chat with me and our team on WhatsApp in the, uh, the link is given in the comment section. Now, 
overall this was all about the internship global internship tips and tricks but if in case i miss something or you would like to know something more please put that down in the comment section because each time you do that that gives you gives me newer ideas to make videos and that's how i can help the biotech community remember there is so much more we can do together but we will have to come together first right so why not create a community where we all help each other just comment below and i'll read and make a video on what you want next all the best